Good morning, Barstow. I'm Caroline Adkins. And I'm Hannah Tadros. Well, Hannah, I know this time of year is very stressful. How are you doing? You know, I'm a little stressed out, but I'm getting through it. I know, I'm stressed as well, but remember that winter break is only six and a half days away. Let's roll the intro. Since finals are right around the corner, we caught up with Dr. Kramer to find out more about the schedule. Okay. As a reminder, y'all, next week we have exams in the upper school. The schedule is Monday will be history and science. Tuesday will be English. Tuesday afternoon we have no exams scheduled. Wednesday will be world languages and mathematics. And Thursday morning will be the makeup exam. So if you have more than one exam in a subject, say if you have two math exams, you should get with your teacher immediately to figure out when you're going to take both of the exams. That is your responsibility, not your teacher's. Thanks. To get right into announcements, the applications for the upper school global education trips to France and Australia are due by Thursday, December 14th. We would like to give a special congratulations to Barstow actors Ella Graham and Lauren Rothhaus, who are performing this holiday season in the Kansas City's uh, in the Kansas City Reps A Christmas Carol. Both Ella Graham Jr. and Lauren Rothhaus, grade five, are part of the cast of the Christmas classic presented at the Spencer Theater. Friday, November 17th, and runs through December 24th. Wow, that's really cool. Congratulations, Ella and Lauren. In other news, registration is now open for the BPA sponsored service opportunity at Harvesters on Martin Luther King Jr. Day, Monday, January 15th. So please go ahead and sign up if you are interested. In sports news, the Barstow Lady Knights are playing against Olathe South today at 3.30 in the Olathe East Tournament. So please try to go out and support. Speaking of competitors, Hannah, have you ever seen the show Skin Wars? I've seen an episode or two. Well, lucky for you, BTVN's Jill Gillen made her own Skin Wars competition. Let's check it out. Welcome to BTVN Skin Wars. We have three artists and three canvases. The challenge today is for the artist to represent their spirit animal on their canvas. They have 30 minutes to do this. And at the end, the judge will decide who the winner is. I'm creative, I'm like these people. Time check, time check. <laughs> Your tears guys are so good. <laughs> but mine's good.
We both are currently enrolled in art history honors with Mr. Luce. So I think I'm fully capable of um, ham. Hey, of discussing I, I, these artistic pieces. Yeah, because so, we know how to professionally. Even talk though I about failed that art fundamentals test, Miss Lackey's art fundamentals test, I Shout still think I'm going I'm a, I'm a kill it. The pickle one, low key five. I ain't gonna lie. Um, I give it like a. We'll I'm, go I'm gonna 10, give it like a out of 10. 13 out of 10 or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Count that. Okay. The way the lighting is hitting it and the contrast of the angular linears. Yeah, I do, yeah. I do see that. You know that green, yeah. low key, that could help you like any Ooh, outfit you wear. Yeah. That, yeah. Especially the new Gucci line that just recently came out. You could throw some. And speaking, speaking of Gucci. Speaking of Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci, Gucci gang. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. We got Lil Pump, Lil Pump with his, you know, like macaroni hairstyle. Let's start off with the colors. The I colors. think they really blend well together. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's a smart way of saying that? They blend well together. I saw the little porch pushing the web, skirt scoop in the coat. I think that uh, porch symbolizes um, his youth. Yeah. You know? I feel like. His 16 year old, he's yeah. 16 years old, but he managed to become so successful, you know? That I could see that. It's so symbolic. I could see that, yeah. The Squidward was pretty, pretty good. Can I guess. we start off with the shading? Shading. Let's get on to the shading. Shading. And just the fact that the brush strokes flow so like. Fluidly, Fluid, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and that jawline, jawline is so sharp. Sharp. If I were to touch it, it would, it would cut my little finger. The colors, not young use. You know what I mean? She put the little roses on there, added a nice little, ugh, little touch to it. It's clean. It looks crisp. He's got the little shine from the bald head. You know, what I mean? it, bald people have exactly. Shine. When you look at that, you see your reflection. Yeah. And honestly. <laughs> I'm feeling some type of way with that handsome Squidward. Like okay, every time yeah. I look at it, the shading, the brush strokes, so fluid, yeah. so fluid. <clears throat> fluid. Um, yeah. I feel what you're saying right there. I feel what you're saying right there. Really do, really do. And the winner for today's challenge is Nayang. Wow, great piece, Jill. Well, it looks like all we have for you today. I'm Caroline. And I'm Hannah. Have a good Tuesday, Barstow.